in a village small and poor, was a family so noble and lowly, even so that the father was considered a friend to the neighborhood. But then, a plague came particular to the family, and unfortunately, the father was the casualty. Soon, rumors started to spread like wildfire, saying, murderers, killers, witches, some even said hired assassins. Oh, a social stigma, a matter tabled with the council of elders. As the wood fuels the fire, the town crier came to stir up the strife against them, instigating men against both mother and daughter. The festival season of love and kindness came, but they were put to shame. Instead of being allowed to teach dancing, you know who came casting and binding. A preacher of love came right in time, saying, Stop right there. Three bear witness, but none of you have seen this woman lay a finger on her husband with wrong intentions. Who has poisoned your once pure love towards this family? Extend your hand of kindness rather than condemnation. For which one of you have not sinned and fallen short of the glory of God? The festival is fast approaching, but how do we intend to celebrate when you all are not an expression of love and kindness? Now to the rest of you, love does not rejoice in evil. Love always protects, always hopes. Show kindness unto another as you would love to be shown it to you. Now let the festival of love and kindness begin.
Lingala. 